This video will cover moderate questions part 1 regarding the topic of recognized limit as derivative. Use the definition of the derivative f prime of a equals limit as h approaches 0 f of a plus h minus f of a over h. When we compare these two limits, there is no f of a part in the question. Since there is nothing, I will just write minus 0. From the definition of the derivative, a in the numerator is the same. Since cosine pi over 2 equals 0, we will write cosine pi over 2 instead of 0. Then back to the original limit. As h approaches 0, cosine pi over 2 plus h minus 0, that means cosine pi over 2 over h. Here, we know that a is pi over 2, so this limit represents f prime of pi over 2, where f of x equals cosine x. Then f prime of x equals minus sine x. Then f prime of pi over 2 equals minus sine pi over 2 equals minus 1. The final answer equals minus 1. Question 2. Use the definition of the derivative f prime of a equals limit as h approaches 0 f of a plus h minus f of a over h. In the numerator, f of a plus h minus f of a, so we can rewrite as limit as h approaches 0 secant pi plus h minus minus 1 over h. Secant pi equals 1 over cosine pi. That means 1 over this part is minus 1. The final answer is minus 1. Since secant pi is minus 1, we will write secant pi instead of minus 1. So, the limit as h approaches 0, secant pi plus h minus, minus 1 means secant pi over h. Here, we know that a equals pi, that means this limit represents f prime of pi, where f of x equals secant x. Then f prime of x equals secant x tangent x. Then f prime of pi equals secant pi times tangent pi. That means secant pi means minus 1 times tangent pi means 0 answer equals 0. Final answer is 0. Question 3, we can rewrite as the limit as h approaches 0, square root of 25 plus h minus square root of 25 over h. The definition of the derivative at a number a is f prime of a equals limit as h approaches 0, f of a plus h minus f of a over h. Here, we know that a equals 25. We can rewrite as f prime of 25 equals limit. As h approaches 0, f of 25 plus h minus f of 25 over h. So this limit represents 
apple prime of 25 apple of 25 equals square root of 25 that means f of x equals square root of x. So f of prime of x equals this one. We can read it as x to the power of 1 over 2. Then 1 over 2 times x to the power of minus 1 over 2. Then 1 over 2 times 1 over square root of x equals 1 over 2 square root of x. Then f prime of 25 equals 1 over, use this, 2 square root of 25 equals 1 over 2 times 5, which is 1 over 10. Then final answer is 1 over 10. Question 4, we can be write as limit as h approaches 0 force root of 16 plus h minus force root of 16 over h and f prime of a equals limit as h approaches 0 f of a plus h minus f of a over h then a is 16 that means f prime of 16 equals limit as h approaches 0 f of 16 plus h minus f of 16 over h so this limit represents f prime of 16 where f of x equals force root of x f of 16 equals force root of 16 so f of x equals force root of x we can rewrite as x to the power of 1 over 4 then f of prime of x equals 1 over 4 x to the power of minus 3 over 4 then f prime of 16 equals 1 over 4 16 to the power of minus 3 over 4 equals 1 over 4 times 16 means 2 to the power of 4 then to the power of minus 3 over 4 equals 1 over 4 times 4 is cancelled 2 to the power of minus 3 equals 1 over 4 times 1 over 8 which is 1 over 32 then final answer is 1 over 32 question 5 we can rewrite as limit as h approaches 0 minus 2 plus h cubed minus minus 8 over h then f prime of a equals limit as h approaches 0 f of a plus h minus f of a over h then think about a so we can rewrite as the limit as h approaches 0 minus 2 plus h cubed minus minus 2 cubed over h that means a equals minus 2 so f prime of minus 2 equals limit as h approaches 0 f of minus 2 plus h minus f of minus 2 over h so this limit represents f prime of minus 2 where f of x equals x cubed because f of minus 2 equals minus 2 cubed that means f of x equals x cubed 
that f of prime of x equals 3x squared, then f of prime of minus 2 equals 3 times minus 2 squared, then 3 times 4, which is 12, then final answer is 12. This is the last one. Use the definition of the derivative f of prime of a equals limit as h approaches 0 f of a plus h minus f of a over h. When we compare these two limits, a is 1, then f of prime of 1 equals the limit as h approaches 0 f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 over h. So this part, f of 1 plus h equals this part, 1 plus h to the power of 4 plus 3 times 1 plus h. That means f of 1 equals 1 to the power of 4 plus 3 times 1, then 1 plus 3 equals 4, the same number. That means this limit represents f of prime of 1, use this f of x equals x to the power of 4 plus 3 times x. Then f prime of x equals 4x cubed plus 3. Then f prime of 1 equals 4 times 1 cubed plus 3 equals 4 plus 3, which is 7. Then final answer is 7. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.